So we're going to run the code and first we're going to pop up the original image which has grid lines and labels and axis measures. Then we do some thresholding to get rid of the grid lines. We trace the axes. We find the maximum and minimum points of each axis and the measures there and print them in blue. The green dots are the locations. We then do some thresholding to get rid of the axes and grid lines so we can trace the curves. We use contour finding to draw the curves in red. Notice there's a remnant label there, the B from the curve label. We locate the start and end points of each curve. We plot those in orange and cyan. Then we create a bitmap from this and do a couple of passes to start taking care of the remnant artifact where the B is. We mark the regions on the curve where the intersection and anomalies are so we can give that special treatment. Then we clean the curve with some smoothing. And finally, we can trace the curves and the axes and all the points over the original image. If we remove the original image, now we have it on a white background, we can extract the trace points. Now we export it to Excel. We select the data in Excel and we create a chart. And there's our original chart, plotted in Excel for us. And just for comparison, we can put up the original chart side by side. And notice it's dead accurate, especially where the crossover point is. That's one way to tell. And that's it. You have the actual data. You can compare it to any other data that you might have generated and plot them both on the same axes.